Okay, well just as another test. I've already run this scroll compressor on 50 Hz. Now I've maxed it out at 400 Hz peak limit. Uh, it doesn't actually get there, but God, this compressor runs fast. I don't know how long it would last running at these speeds normally, but it is uh, fairly quick. That's at 15 Hz. The only trouble is it gets to about 106 and then all that, all that starts climbing is the amps. So it would definitely hurt the VFD if I went too long or too too high. I really don't want to blow the VFD up so I'm not going to push it any further than that. It's short runs. It's still cold. But I don't know what it's doing inside. Green oil coming out everywhere because this unit had leak. This motor here is just way too big to run on it. I tried it briefly last night and nah, not going to happen. climbing and climbing. Probably the wrong motor type and wrong size. But that's good. I'll try it on the two cylinder next time when I get that out. the V-twin again. It's going a little bit over its rated frequency. Again the motor's bigger than the drive's hand rated for so it won't be a very long test if the amps go too high. But let's try it out. too high and she cuts out and limits the current. It just suddenly goes from 6 amps to 12 and then beyond. So definitely not a good idea to run it too long at that speed. But without oil, I suspect the failure would be very quick. Very, very quick. There's another one of these at the junkyard, so I might as well blow this one up one day and grab the other one keep that one as a runner. At certain speeds this thing just shudders horribly. <laughs> I don't know if it's compression in the cylinders or magnetic field interference, I don't know. The rotors on these are pretty well balanced. I'm guessing it's just to do with a combination of speed, field and uh, air pressure. Oh, I'm not. 